to rebound after what has been a, a dismal 2023 is the best way to put it. Already, Jake Ely has more losses in 2023 than he had the entire year of 2022. Yeah, but if there's anybody that can rebound, it's definitely the Thunderbird Jake Ely. 100% agree, and the brass ring is the only thing that Jake Ely has not done in OCW. If he can secure the brass ring, he's the next Grand Slam champion in OCW history. The only other person is our OCW heavyweight champion, Guiding Light Matthew Taylor. As we talked about at the beginning of the broadcast, he and Lord Thomas the Brute suspended until tradition where they will meet in the main event for the heavyweight championship. one lucky fan right there and for those of you just joining us you might be wondering is that Ripper Blackheart and the answer to that question is yes that is Ripper Blackheart and it looks like they're going to be joining us here at the broadcast position all right Welcome, gentlemen. How's it going, boys? It's great to have you. Welcome back to OCW. It's good to be back, especially alongside this young man, Jimmy Shane. It's good to be here, Rip. So we are set for the third qualifying matchup here in the Brass Ring Gauntlet qualifiers. Jake Ely, Robbie Starr. The last time these two met, Ely picked up the victory at Summerfest in 2022 in Magador. Ely, all too aware of that fact, seems very confident when I was cornered by him earlier in the day. I figure that hat looks a little heavy. Yeah, and you always have to keep an eye on the way he takes off that hat from his head. There's my guy, Robbie Starr, stating the obvious. Robbie Starr, three times the OCW Heavyweight Champion, five-time Tag Team Champion. I know, Jimmy, you were hoping to win your qualifier so you could get into the Brass Ring Gauntlet. Did not go your way. Is there a backup plan? That dream isn't over. Robbie very well could qualify right here tonight, and we can, we can get right back where we need to be. Well, I asked Robbie about the Brass Ring earlier. Bell goes, and here we go. The Heritage Championship is the only championship he hasn't won here in OCW. That's very true. It's, and I would support Robbie if that's what he wanted to do. If he told me he wanted to use this to become the Heritage Champion, I'd be in his corner. Me too. Robbie Starr backs off from Jake Ely there in the corner. Robbie Starr is actually the longest tenured competitor in OCW as of this very moment. Nice tie up there, center of the ring. Robbie Starr using his power, but Ely. Oh, there's 
yeah. that star power. I was going to say, don't be poking my guy in the chest like that. He don't like it. Robbie. Get a toss, baby. And another. A renewed focus, perhaps, in the singles division for Robbie Starr with the opportunity at the brass ring here. I think they're trying to start some friction, Jimmy. I don't understand why they're trying to start some friction. If that's what Robbie wants to do, that's what Robbie can do. But I, our eyes are still set on those tactics. I know we can get them. Not trying to start anything, just pointing out a fact. And Here's a fact for you. I'm back. I'm with them. Big and star I'm, splash I'm, there. I'm pretty much a tag team manager specialist. Well, it was nice to see you shut down Nick Hahn. Lord knows I've had enough of him myself in my life, let alone today. Did you, is it truly you mentored Nick Hahn? More or less. Like I said, I, that was a straight up shoot when I said he can go back to my shadow. The only reason Nick Hahn has a job here is because I decided to take on some backstage duties. Wow. Seems like we pulled the curtain back a little bit there. I'm Into the corner with them splashes. Oh. The first star splash earlier in the match had connected, but Jake Ely had that sound. Beautiful Hurricane Rana. And Ely, ever dangerous. It seems like he's got this nothing to lose mentality ever since losing the OCW Heavyweight Championship. Up and over, lands on his feet. And into the buckle goes Ely. I would agree with you, Bali, yeah. Ely is dangerous. Ely's always been dangerous. The man, he's just not very smart. The man has tunnel vision. He, he, he does not have the capability to see a big picture in front of him, Polly, and that's going to be his downfall. And that chop is not going to help his cause here. There's been a lot of nasty chops tonight. Everything's heating up on the way to tradition, baby. May 27th, back here at Chaparral's. Tickets will be available through Eventbrite shortly. Oh, my God. Jimmy, you've been on the receiving end of some of those chops. Can you describe that feeling? It is not fun. It hurts. Luckily, I wear that jersey to protect me a little bit, but uh, Ely's not wearing one right now. Wait, Robbie, he's behind you. Robbie, he... And from oh, behind. Oh, hit the apron hard. And the post as well. It's easier for Ely to sneak around because he's so short. He's barely above the ring. Ely quick to get it back into the ring. Maybe he should have taken a count out here. Yeah, that'd be the quick way to get to the brass ring gauntlet. I mean, if if there's anybody who would take a shortcut, it's Jake Ely. Are you I, implying something, Polly? Oh. Into the barricade. I'll apply something. As I said before, the man's not very smart. But Thunderbird Jake Ely does have the fifth longest OCW heavyweight championship reign in this company. So there's four guys better than him. That's what I heard. And who, who are some of those guys? Uh, yeah, Robbie, Robbie Starr and... Uh, Matthew Taylor would be another. Well, who's the other one, Jimmy? I actually don't know if I've got it longer than Ely. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Big Guns has got to be up there somewhere. Caden uh, Asad. Caden Asad. Caden Asad, solid. Up. That dude's solid. Well, that's three. If Ely's the fifth? Matt four? has the first two. Oh, Matt's got two. Yeah. Matt's got the first Dang. two. I was really hoping I was up there. How about Heritage? Can we throw Heritage in there? <laughs> we can throw Heritage in there, but I think you've got that one by a landslide, Jimmy. And I didn't need a pandemic to get there. Shots Ooh. fired. Yeah, bang, bang. The third time was not the charm for Ely. But you can't, you can't say, watch this one. Robbie knows it's coming. Telegraphed it. Drop kick by Ely. I'll give Ely that. That kid does. Ely into the cover. As two and no. Ely only a second away from being the third qualifier in the brass ring gauntlet. And we know how important the brass ring gauntlet is. The majority, I think it's like 75, 80% of the winners have gone on to utilize that brass ring successfully including 
one of the individuals at the broadcast table right now. Yeah, the brass ring changed my career. It, uh, no, oh, 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 God. Come on, Keith. Robbie hit himself. That is how it's been described to me. And the reason why it's still technically legal. Cover off that clothesline. No. So close there for Ely. And you can feel Robbie Stark just trying to will his way back into this thing. The OCW faithful trying to rally behind him. No, he's not. My God. Ely if, into the cross face. If Robbie Starr were to tap out here, what would that mean for Jake Ely? And he doesn't even need to tap. Ely has made me pass out in this exact hold before. He's got him right in the middle. That's, I got to give Ely his due. He's got Robbie dead to rights right in the middle of the ring. But if there's anybody who's going to get out of this move, Paul, anybody going to get out of this move, Werewolf, it is the veteran of OCW, Robbie Starr. You guys said it, for, said it earlier. He's the most seasoned guy here. You don't think he don't know how to get out of a submission hold or two. Rolls through and rolls out of it. A starstruck. Roll no. by Ely. Ely had it scouted. Ah. Destino. Planted cover here to qualify for the brass ring gauntlet. No. I'm not going to lie. I was a little scared there, I, Jimmy. I saw it all slipping away from us right there. Come on, Robbie. Come on. Ely has, for the most part, had the number of Robbie Starr tonight. But he might be taking a little bit too much time going to the top rope. Thunderbird looking to fly. Oh, beautiful. Elbow connects. Into the cover. A little bit lackadaisical, but two count only. Come on, Robbie. Come on. Come on, Robbie. You almost wonder if he'd gotten his full weight across the shoulders, would this be a different story? How much more weight could that possibly be? Come on. <laughs> what a low clothesline there. A little bit desperate. Ely back to the second oh, rope. Right. There you go, Robbie. There you go. Come on, Robbie. The fans are OCW faithful. Again, rallying the show to his feet. Oh. Went to the well once on, again Robbie, with that on. Hurricane Rana. Hey, with the power bomb. Come on, Robbie. Come on. You got to follow up, Robbie. You got to follow up. Yeah, unable to capitalize, though. That power bomb taking it out of both men. Who can get to their feet first? You have to imagine this would be the turning point of the match. Here you go, Robbie. Robbie Starr dragging Ely possibly into position. Robbie very comfortable on the top row. Oh, hey, hey, hey. No, 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 no. What's going on? Wait a minute. We've got. Give me shoot. Give me shoot. JJ's for everybody, Jimmy. The hell? Asher Knox and Gino DeCapo. And that's. Jimmy Shane has Ripper Blackheart's shoe. You know how many guys that shoe has taken out over the years? Wait a minute, wait a minute. In the ring, the Fibrillator! That could be enough right there. What? Oh, what under kick! Sick. Cover by Ely! Ah, Ely was qualified for the Brass Ring Gauntlet. He was over and qualified for the Brass Ring Gauntlet. So neither member of the winners is going to qualify for the Brass Ring Gauntlet. The dream might be temporarily on hiatus for the winners. Let's not bury the lead here. Jake Ely is now one step closer to recapturing the heavyweight championship if he can win the Brass Ring Gauntlet next month. A title in which he lost but wasn't involved in the decision. But now where does this put the winners? And what were Gino DiCapo and Asher Knox doing out here? In 
just moments, a brass ring qualifying match. Kenny Cash goes up against the future Jacob Rose, already racking up wins here in OCW. How are you feeling about this huge opportunity? Look, last month I beat Jake Ely. Today I'm going to beat Kenny Cash. Next month I'm going to win the brass ring and I will win that OCW heavyweight champion. I am the future. I am the future of OCW, the future of professional wrestling, and the future champion. But I know a guy who doesn't have to put his money away. The money man, Kenny Cash, making his way out to the ring for this brass ring qualifying match. I think this is the second match of the year, or third match of the year for Kenny Cash, and the first one not directly tied to Money Talks. Yeah, he'll actually get to know who his opponent is so he can have a fair match. Fair whenever you run your mouth. You, What is that old, the saying? You talk stuff, you get hit. And Kenny Cash has been talking some stuff. He has not ingratiated himself to the OCW faithful at all. Mostly through those money talks moments. Jacob Rose making his way out to the ring. Jacob Rose told me that he is the future of OCW. And when I looked into that man's eyes, Drew, I truly and honestly believe it. So incredibly talented at such a young age. And after a big victory last month over the fifth longest reigning heavyweight champion in this company's history in Jake Ely. All he's got to do is win this qualifier, and he is one step closer to the heavyweight championship yeah, but don't via forget, the brass ring. Yeah, but don't forget he used a weapon to win that match, Paul. A weapon that Jake Ely was going to use on him first. Kenny Cash has been very outspoken against OCW management, saying that they are not giving him the opportunities and the respect that he deserves. I'd say he got both right here. He's in a qualifier for the brass ring gauntlet. Big shoulder block there by Cash. Yeah, Kenny Cash stated in a promo earlier this week that he's going to cash out on Jacob Rose. Oh, played it with the cutter. He, he's, he's got it. He's got it. No. Two count only. The future was almost now. Jacob Rose out of nowhere with that cutter. Oh, but the jawbreaker. Kenny Cash had to slow the momentum a bit here because that. My God. Running over Jacob Rose. Somebody get the uh, license plate of that truck. Now grounding Rose, knee buried into the small of the back. Actually looked like it might have been near the kidney. Either way, it's going to hurt like hell. You know, I was talking to Kenny Cash earlier, and he said if he wins the brass ring, he's going to get it gold-plated and diamond-studded. Well, that defeats the purpose of it being the brass ring. Oh, big clothesline there, but it does sound like something Kenny Cash would do. The man's got money, and he ain't afraid to use it. Shot there to the side of the face cover. Got one. That was a little bit disrespectful, don't you think? Well, not at all. 
Another stomp to the back. Seems like Kenny Cash targeting the lower back of Jacob Rose here. Maybe he saw something in the scouting report that he liked a little bit more there. Big body slam. Follows it up with the elbow. Into the cover. He's got two. Rose showing fight and tenacity here. Cash. Not one to miss an opportunity to yell and argue. Big shot there. Jacob Rose just almost crumbled. Cash setting up. Nice suplex. Say what you will about Kenny Cash. He is talented. Oh, 100%. I think if he embraced the OCW faithful, he could go very far. Why? Why would you embrace these people? And listen to them get loud anytime Jacob Rose is down. They want him to win, and they're going to do what they can to help him get that victory. Nice clothesline. Big knee to the face. And a pump kick there. Jacob Rose starting to feel it. Looking for another big victory. Close line from the top. Cover. One, two, two count only. Didn't quite have enough there. And that could be a bit of Kenny Cash's experience. But that's the thing about experience. Jacob Rose was trained by the iconic Cody Hawk. So he knows what he's doing in there. Went for the curb stop. Nobody home. Famous, sir. Planted center of the ring. Can Cash capitalize here? Rolls him into the cover. One, two, it's over. No. I thought he had him there. I thought that was three. But it was two and a half, two and a quarter. And for Cash, that's that's his signature. That's his go-to move to win matches. And it didn't do it. What does that do to your mindset, Drew? You got that just reached down deeper in the bag and pull something else out. Just exchanging blows in the center of the ring like a prize fight. And it is a prize fight because the winner has a chance at the brass ring. Big knee there. Stop! Connects! Cover! Two! The future could be now! We have a The fourth man to qualify tonight, joining the field of the professional Brandon Fields, Thunderbird Jake Ely. And of course, all hail Ryan Michaels. All men who have championship aspirations in 2023 and beyond. Only one of those men has held the OCW Heavyweight Championship before.